Well, hey, coaches, welcome to our Upward Devotion for week eight. This week, I want you to read Luke chapter 15, 11 through 31. The parable for this week is the parable of the lost son. It is a great parable. Now, as we read parables, as we've talked about, we must note who the characters are in the story. Here we have three characters, the prodigal son who was reckless with his money and lived an out of control lifestyle. We have the father, and then we have an older brother. Well, in this parable, the younger son demands that his father give him his inheritance early. And when he received it, he ran off into the world and squandered all his money. He was enjoying the pleasures of the world. He lived an out of control lifestyle and he was focused, focused only on himself and the things in this world. Well, eventually what happened is that he ran out of money. And then on top of that, a great famine came and he couldn't find food. He had to find a job, and the job he found was feeding pigs. But not only feeding them, he also was so hungry he desired to eat what the pigs ate. Now this job is important in this story because these were Jews, and to the Jews, pigs were unclean animals. So not only was this a bad job, it would have made him unclean as well. He didn't just work with pigs, he was willing to eat with pigs. Well, he eventually realized that he should go home to his father. At least there he could get a job as a servant and have enough food to eat. Now we don't know how long it took the lost son to come to this decision. It may be that he knew that he should do this, but his pride would not allow him to go, and so he suffered longer. This is a picture of us getting over our pride and running to God when we have known for a long time he is what we really need. And so when the son arrived home, he found his father had been waiting for him. The son asked for forgiveness and expected his father to reject him and send him to be a servant. But instead, the father kissed him and had compassion on him and welcomed him back to the family. In fact, the father organized this huge party declaring, this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. This parable is a picture of God's love for those whom he calls son or daughter. See, while the the son rejected the father and embraced the world, the father waited with patience to receive his son back. The son chose to separate himself from the father, but the father extended grace and mercy and reconciliation when the son asked for forgiveness. In the same way, sin separates you and me from God. In our rebellious heart and in our actions, we reject God and we embrace the world. And the longer we stray, the more miserable we are going to become, just like the son was in the pigsty. He knew that there was something better, but in his pride, he did not believe the father would welcome him back. God extends mercy and grace and forgiveness through the work of Jesus Christ. See, Jesus did everything necessary to reconcile sinners, that would be you and me, to God. The Bible says if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. It seems so simple, yet we make it so hard. We have to come to a place where we get tired of living with the pigs and desire to live in Christ. Now before we end, there's one more character in the story we haven't mentioned, the older brother. The older brother's reaction was not as compassionate as the father. The older brother thought that his brother should get everything that he deserved for his actions, which was nothing. See, the older brother put the focus on himself, all that he had done, how obedient he was, and how deserving he was because of his works. What this parable tells us and warns us, don't be the older brother. See, the older brother was a recipient of the father's love, but he did not believe that his younger brother deserved it. We are all in need of God's grace and forgiveness. I can't imagine where I would be if Jesus had not saved me. See, the older brother was focused on himself and not the grace of the Father. Don't miss what God is doing in your life and what he's doing in the lives of others around you. If you are saved, go tell others about the God who saved you and rejoice when others come to faith in Christ. Now, I think this will be a great devotion to easily move into sharing the gospel with your team. I want you to know that I am praying for many players and parents to come to faith in Christ this season. This is why we do what we do. But I also want you to know as coaches, I'm praying for you. If you want to know more about salvation and what Jesus has done for you, I want you to know I'm always available to talk to you and share the gospel and the hope of Christ that I have and that I want you to have as well. Have a blessed week, guys.